Hi everyone! So today, we are going to learn about functions. In equation y is equal to 3x, we cannot know a value for y until we have assigned a value for x. Diba? So that's obvious. There is no value of y if no x. So thus x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. And if two variables, uh, x and y, are so related that whenever a value is assigned to x, so when we assign a value assign or when we assign a value to x, then there will be a value of y. Then variable y is said to be a function of x or y is equal to f of x or the function of x. So a function is a set of ordered pairs of real numbers which is x and y, in which no two distinct ordered pairs have the same first number. The set of all admissible values of x is called the domain. So lahat ng values of x is the domain of the function, and the set of all resulting values of y is called the range of the function. So example here, for your activity, find the range and the domain of the given points in this um, Cartesian plane. Okay. All right. So, for um, example, we are going to plot the following points in the Cartesian system. We have three, five, negative four, five, negative five, negative four, and four, negative five. So, how are we going to do that? How are we going to plot that? So, basically. To plot that, we are going to, to plot 3, negative 5. So, we are going to do this, 3, and then that's positive 5. So, that's this is the first point right here. The second point, negative 4, 5. So, the x is negative 4 and y is positive 5. So, that's here. So, for point C, negative 5, negative 4, that's in quadrant 3. So, negative 5, that's this one is the x, and y is negative 4, so this is that point. And 4, negative 5, that's positive 4, and y is negative 5, so this is point D. So, remember in a Cartesian plane, we have four quadrants. This is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and quadrant 4. Okay? So, now, to have examples for the indicated values. Actually, this is just an example. So you need to read and solve more about functions. Alright? So determine the indicated values of the function. f of x is equal to 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. So actually, there are more operations no, than running uh, examples here. So uh, I will just be giving you these examples, okay? So for number 1, let's solve f of x is equal to 6x squared plus 5x minus 6. Therefore, we are going to do number 1. So to do that, that's f of 2 is equal to 6 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 minus 6. Therefore, that's 4 times 6, that's 24 plus 10 minus 6. That's 34 minus 6 or 28. So f of 2 is 28. For number 2, to find f of negative 2, that's 6 times negative 2, then squared, plus 5 times negative 2 minus 6. Therefore, that's positive 4 times 6, that's 24 minus 10 minus 6. So that is 14 minus 6, that is 8. Alright, for number 3. So number 3 is um, a bit different because... The value to be uh, the, the value that is needed would be f of x plus one. So therefore, you change all the values of x into x plus one. So that's six times x plus one squared. So change x to x plus one, then plus five. Oops. Times x plus one minus six. Okay, expand x plus 1 squared, that's 6 times x squared plus 2x plus 1, right? Plus 5x plus 5 minus 6. Combine all like terms, but before we combine that, let's distribute first. Okay. 
Alright. Then, after that, combine like terms. So, therefore, that's 6x squared. Then, for x, we have 12x and 5x. So, that's plus 17x. Then, we have the constants which is 6 plus 5 so 11 minus 6 that is 11 minus 6 is positive 5 all right now this is your final answer all right for number four we are asked to find f of negative x so therefore change x to negative x Okay, so f negative uh, x is simply 6. So negative x uh, is squared ni mo siya, would just be x squared minus 5x minus 6. Alright, so uh, this can be your final answer unless you are asked to uh, factor it out. Alright, so if not, then that can be your final answers. So, I think there are more examples on your sim. Um, please take part in reading and solving more problems. Thank you so much for listening. That's it for functions and graphs. Have a very good day.